Hello. Today I got a package in the mail from Fuel Cell Earth. And if you can see that right there. And inside this package is a piece of Nafion. It's a uh, ion transfer membrane that they use in fuel cells. And I'm going to do a very important experiment uh, using this today. And as soon as I set it up, I will be back. And uh, here's the Nafion polymer wrapping. Let's see what this stuff looks like. Wrap the shit out of it. Alright. What the hell is it? <laughs> wow. It's Transparent. Wow. I thought the bag was empty. There this stuff is right there. Look at that. Clear. Now the reason I'm running a uh, experiment with this is because this stuff does basically the same thing as titanium dioxide and the biocell does. So we're going to make another battery with just this and use it as the we're going to try it as the negative electrode and we're just going to put water in there because this is ideally should be the negative electrode and the active material all in one. So we're going to try an experiment and see if this with water and a piece of graphite if it produces electricity or not. If it does, then whoa. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, here we go. Let's see this meter, okay? Just the settings here so we can see this better. All right, I can see the meter there now. All right, here's our piece of Nafion clear. I'm sure you can't see that very good because it is clear. But we're going to lay that right down there. And then we're going to take our separator paper, put on there, on the corner of it. And then we're going to put a couple drops of distilled water on there. And then we're going to take a piece of graph oil and we're going to put on there now that should be a battery we'll see Let's turn on our voltage here and we'll put it on the millivolts setting there's our positive connection there's our lower connection look at there voltage one yep look at that 0.9297 it works how about that that's definite proof that the exclusion zone is what's producing the power that is a battery made out of graphite nafion and water only all right you've seen it here first and if you don't know what an exclusion zone is then you should uh, Check out Dr. Gerald Pollack's work. He's a bioengineer at uh, Washington State University and doing work on water and the exclusion zone. Very important. Okay, I'll talk to you next time.